Hello, we're going to discuss Affirmation, a song by Jose Feliciano. The chart we're using is a transcription of a George Benson version, so the melody is a little spicier than we might uh, get from an original chart. So, uh, we'll hit the chords first, and then we'll move to the melody. The first chord we have is E minor 9, and then we move to B minor 7. So we do that for a bit, and then uh, another, the later section of the A, we go from B minor 7, A minor 7, D7, to G major 7, then we have E9, and then we have a crazy chord here called A9 sus. Now a lot of the time I like to call this uh, by a slash chord name, which would be G slash A. So it's a G chord with an A in the bass. But on this particular one, we're going to have an A on top, so we'd actually think of it as G add 9. So we have G, we're adding the ninth with an A in the bass. So that's the first ending for A. Uh, the second ending for A would move to the G major 7 through the other stuff that we had done before. And then we go to C9. Okay, and I'm using what's called a rootless voicing here. There's no C note in it. Uh, but because of the other notes that we have in there, we're going to hear it as a C9. And then we move to the... Uh, F sharp minor 7, and I'm going to play B minor 7, what they have labeled as a uh, tritone sub, uh, F9. Okay, but I'm going to use that, okay? And then we move to the 2 chord, which is E minor 9, and they have a tritone sub after that of E flat 9. But I'm going to play A13. And then the next chord they have on the chart is D major 9. I'm going to play either D6 or D. Now this tritone business, basically what's happening is that our usual bass line would move in fifths. But what we're doing here is instead of playing this note, okay, we're playing a tritone away from this note. We're going to play that instead. That sounds a little crazy at the moment, but follow along. Because what happens is when we play this, and instead of that we play the tritone sub for the A, which is E flat, what happens is we have a smooth bass line that moves chromatically. Okay. So it's a nice smooth sound, and then it goes to the D major 9. Okay, just end up here. It sounds great. The problem is, is with our melody, the notes aren't going to work well. So there's going to be a lot of tension when we play the tritones up here and the tritones up here. Okay. So because of that, I go back to what would be the original changes. Three, six, two, five, one. Okay. So that's what we're going to use for that last section of the second A. And then we're into the B, which is going to use the B flat major 7. Okay. We've got six measures of that, and then the last two measures of this eight measure section is going to use the uh, G add 9A or the A9 sus, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be the same sound. Okay?
and that's the end. And it either ties back in to play the um, play the melody, uh, to play the head out, or it goes into the soloing section, which on this chart is just having uh, B minor seven. But if you um, if you want to play the tune, you may as well play the changes that we already have in the head and uh, play them straight over. Uh, and we'll talk about that maybe in a later video, how to improvise over it. But the next thing I want to do is get into the melody. And again, since this is a uh, George Benson version that's transcribed on this particular chart, uh, the melody is going to be a little spicier. But basically what we're doing is we're starting with the... Um, and right after beat three, leading into a one. So we've got a series of pickup notes. So we've got one, two, three, four. section here for what we have coming out of this, uh, just like the first day, it's the same until we go into the second index. Okay, and here's the line for C9. Okay, so that takes us through all those chords. Coming into the B section. Okay, now we've got a part that turns us around during this section. And that goes like this. Okay, now from there, that's ending the B section, it's ending the form of the tune. So we could go straight into what we have for the melody. So we'd have, or basically we would solo over the same changes that we had for the melody. That's what I mean. So you hear how that goes in. The other way that we can do it is that we can um, come out of that and go into the head again, however we wanted to, or do an ending. So the ending that I was choosing is to end on the D major 7. Okay. So I'm coming out of here. Okay, so that makes it feel finished, rather than going to the 2 chord. It doesn't really feel finished when we do that. But going to the 1 would do that. So we have... melody that we would want to hear coming out goes to an A note and resolves. Think how that sounds finished? I just raise it an octave and put it on top of my chord. And there we go. Enjoy!